So welcome to NASA Week here on the AI Guide. Big story, autonomous systems help NASA's Perseverance rover do more science on Mars. Now this article will give you a great historical perspective on the advancement of AI. Check this out. In about a third of the time it would have taken other NASA rovers, Perseverance recently navigated its way through a field of boulders more than 1,700 feet wide or half a kilometer. Perseverance managed the finer points of navigating the field, nicknamed Snowdrift Peak on its own, courtesy of AutoNav, the self-driving system that helps cut down driving time between areas of scientific interest. In fact, Perseverance has set rover speed records on Mars since landing in February 2021, so just over two years. The rock field was much denser than anything Perseverance has encountered before. We didn't go, want to go around it because it would have taken us weeks. More driving time means less time for science, so we just dove right in. On June 26, Perseverance entered the eastern edge of the Snowdrift Peak. By the time the rover exited the western edge of the boulder field on July 31st, it had logged almost 2,500 feet. With much of the extra distance coming from AutoNav maneuvering around rocks not visible in the orbiter images used to plan the route. I'm going to have a lot of comments about this at the end. The traverse through Snowdrift Peak only took six autonomous drive souls days on Mars, which are double Earth length which is probably 12 souls faster than Curiosity would have taken. So the very prior rover, it was twice as fast to this field. Here's where we get into the historical perspective. It's very cool. Some form of silicon-based navigator has been in use since the first Mars rover started dodging rocks in 1997. Back then, the microwave oven-sized sojourner needed to stop every 5.1 inches. So keep in mind that that rover was completed about 1992-1993 to be on Mars in 97. So that is 30 years ago. 5.1 inches, a very short distance. The next Mars rover's golf cart-sized Spirit and Opportunity which arrived in 2004, could drive distances up to 1.6 feet. So about three times the distance without stopping. Curiosity, which landed in 2012, recently got a software upgrade to help make driving decisions, but Perseverance packs several advantages. With faster cameras, the rover can take images quickly enough to process its route in real time, and it has an additional computer dedicated entirely to image processing, eliminating the need to pause to decide its next move. So in other words, Perseverance can more or less drive continuously. Curiosity cannot, even with the software update. Perseverance is the first rover that has two computer brains working together, allowing it to make decisions on the fly. This autonomous capability has allowed Perseverance to set new records for Mars off-roading, including a single-day drive distance of almost 1,200 feet, and the longest drive without human intervention, 2,300 feet. However, those achievements took place in an area where it was flat with few obstacles. While the boulder field may be in Perseverance's metaphorical rearview mirror, more driving challenges lay ahead for Perseverance. We have to be on our toes because Perseverance's autonomous capabilities can make something we see in the distance on one sole right in front or even behind us on the next. So I'll get into that in a second. This new terrain is definitely going to throw a few curveballs at us and AutoNav, but that is where the science is and we're ready. So what does this all mean? And it actually is very interesting stuff. First of all, from being able to go five inches without stopping to recalibrate and re reanalyze images and figure out where you are and where you're going next to near continuous, 
in 30 years. That is a great encapsulation of the improvement in AI. Now, why has that improvement happened? My viewers know three reasons. Better algorithms, number one. Number two, much better cameras slash sensors. And number three, much better hardware, much faster processing speeds, courtesy of GPUs. All of the technologies that have enabled AI to really advance are evident in the progress that NASA is making on Mars with Perseverance. So this is great stuff, 30 years, dramatic changes in self-driving on a whole other planet. Now the main thing you gotta keep in mind to wrap this up is that communication times to Mars are measured in hours because it's tens of millions or 100 million miles away, whatever it is, I haven't looked it up a very long distance. Autonomous driving changes the game for Mars exploration, but wait, NASA will be launching in a few years a rover that will explore one of the moons of Jupiter. And without auto navigation, it's impossible to do it there. The time transit for signals is days. It, it really can't be done. So this self-driving is critical to the next evolution of NASA rovers. Thanks so much, take care. We're at 950, we're 50 from hitting 1,000 subscribers. Please subscribe, please like and share these videos. Also, very importantly, please support us on Patreon. We really need your support. I'm gonna tell you about something huge that is coming to this channel in three weeks, but I need your support, I need your help. Thanks so much, take care, bye.